In Georgia, the police will be drafted in to work at all jails after the president ordered the suspension of the country's entire prison security staff. They said thousands took to the streets in response to the TV broadcast of a video appearing to show inmates being tortured and sexually abused by guards. Altiz Igor Piskunov has the details from Tbilisi for us. These are the largest protests Georgia has seen in years. And I'm not only talking about the thousands of people who have taken to the streets in the capital, Tbilisi, but protests have also happened in many other large towns across the country. Many people here are very angry with this video right now. And some protesters came with signs saying, rape me, apparently addressed to Georgian uh, authorities. Others have signs uh, saying concern is not enough, addressed to European Union officials. Some people claim to have uh, recognized their own relatives uh, being allegedly abused by uh, prison officials and uh, well this is a small country and news here really spreads quickly and so does public anger and the protesters are demanding not only the sacking of officials responsible for the interior ministry but also for their illegal prosecution now the videos themselves were leaked by a former employee a staff member of one of the main prisons in Georgia not far away from the Belize this man is currently in exile in Belgium and the videos show alleged uh, abuse by the staff members of uh, the inmates not only the beating up of inmates but also well literally torture including sexual abuse and including abuse of minors all of this is happening in light of a major publicity campaign uh, promoting the uh, recent reform of Georgia's penitentiary system jails are presented with an image of being as transparent as they get while well, inmates even have bank cards to get rid of cash to fight corruption. So th these videos and this whole scandal is definitely a huge blow to this uh, PR campaign. Georgia is preparing for uh, parliamentary elections. There's already tension in the air. The opposition is being quite active as well. And so these videos are a major punch in the face to Georgian authorities as well. What's also interesting is that many protesters have compared these videos to footage from the uh, infamous Guantanamo prison. Uh, but if we talk about Guantanamo, then there are uh, terror suspects held there, while the people taking part uh, in these videos are just ordinary inmates. Archie Igor Piskunov there, who's covering this story for us in Tbilisi. And you can follow the latest developments there on his Twitter feed. And political analyst Eric Dreitzer believes the roots of the problem can be found within the regime itself. We've seen over the course of a number of years, the uh, Saakashvili government has demonstrated that they have little to no regard for human rights. Uh, we only need to look at the conflict in South Ossetia and in Abkhazia to see what the Saakashvili administration actually is interested in. They're not interested in human rights. They're interested in aggression. And most importantly, they're interested in shoring up a relationship with the United States. Saakashvili is without a doubt one of the most egregious violators of human rights and human dignity anywhere in the world. And I stress once again that Saakashvili cannot exist without the United States. We remember Saakashvili's close, close relationship with the Bush administration, Saakashvili's desires to put NATO into, the, uh, to put Georgia into the NATO sphere of influence, into NATO's orbit. And so, yes, there's absolutely a trend. And this is precisely why the United States is able to continue to support Saakashvili in the same way that they've supported brutal dictators all over the world for, for the last few decades.